Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you are someone who enjoys talking about film, how about clicking that subscribe button? So today we're gonna to be talking about season two, episode four of The Boys. <laughs> So these are going to be more of recaps instead of reviews. From here on out, when I do talk about the boys um, episode to episode, let's go ahead and start off with Frenchie. He is on a little bit of a binge. Uh, we do see him doing some coke and everything and mixing it up with some other stuff. And then I was just like, when, when he kind of dropped the coke into the sink, I was just like, oh, what a waste. Mind you, I'm not like a coke head, never have been a coke head, but I like the inner non-coke head in me. I was just like, that's just a waste. Let's try to put the moves on chemical. You know, she's not in the best of moods at the moment, obviously. She is grieving. And little drugged up Frenchie thinks that the best thing to do would be to, you know, try to kiss her, which is the last person you want to do this to is Kimiko because she will literally like rip your head off. Around that time, we also find out the damage that was done from that whole soup terrorist kind of interaction between Stormfront and the Seven and Kimiko's brother um, when they did storm that apartment complex. Uh, 59 people did die and hundreds were, of course, injured or blaming it on Kimiko's brother, which honestly was Stormfront's fault. So we're gonna go ahead and jump onto the Homelander um, with his involvement with some weird ass shit right now, which involve a doppelganger. He has a whole like thing going on <laughs> this season. He does have a doppelganger transform into Madeline, which of course is very disturbing. Of course he has his like little milk and it's like, who's my good little boy and everything. And of course when she was alive before he actually killed her was like, like mothering him, but it was a very like, almost like sexual mothering deal because of something that Homelander wanted and really loved her but yet you know of course killed her. Now this doppelganger like I feel in a lot of movies when you do see a doppelganger or, or shows like I remember there was a doppelganger in Heroes and it was this like big fat guy you know? and of course when she was changing back into her actual changing back into his like natural form because you know he can only hold a uh, a body or whatever for so long he kind of like jumps up doesn't even want to look at her and gives a really funny line talk about change the fuck back now doppelganger i'm gonna go ahead and just stick stay with the whole doppelganger i know this next part doesn't happen till at the end of the episode but we're gonna since we're here we're gonna stay with it um towards the end of the episode once homelander's really kind of like sick and tired of all the lies so he goes back of course to doppelganger madeline tries to tell her the, the situation and everything that he's really just kind of like lost it, mind you. At this point, he's already like had a conversation with Stormfront and Stormfront's kind of already told him, look, old man, you gotta get with, with the times. And the Homelander's all like, I don't need nobody, it's just, I just need myself. Doppelganger then turns into Homelander. It's in this like this lingerie, cute little sequence that of course look good on Madeline, but doesn't look, oh, uh, you know what? He made it work. I think it looks better on him than it would on me, of course. The Homelander basically like kills himself, you know, kills Doppelganger himself. I don't know if this is like a symbol of him like killing a portion of himself. Like, I don't know, whatever small piece of humanity maybe he had left in him. I don't know, you guys. But the one thing I did find interesting was that the Doppelganger didn't actually transform back into his version like i think when it happened on heroes turned into the man that he was but before homelander actually killed the doppelganger um he did do other things obviously within the episode one of the things was that he actually did confront um starlight in the elevator really like during her was like stop with other lies i know that you're still with Huey. and then he also ended up kicking a train off of the seven because you know after his accident he's really not as fast or he's not running anymore so now a train is being replaced with another guy who we did see from season one and homelander's just kind of like like, yeah whatever you know we'll take we'll stay in touch we'll still be friends we'll hang out blah 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 kind of deal so we're gonna go ahead and move on over to billy butcher and thanks to his acquaintance i guess would be donna i think that's who it is i think that's her name um helped him find his wife becca and they had like a nice little reunion a very short reunion we do in this episode have some little sex -a time going between them two we do have somebody else who has some sex -a time as well we'll get to them later it's nothing like graphic or anything like that it's nothing like where you have to like cover up your kid's eyes um no it's it, we don't we don't get into it like that of course you know once becca finds out or or you know feels it in her bones that billy is not really going to accept her son becca even says i know that at some point you're going to figure out a way to get rid of him 
basically butcher's just gonna have to come to the realization that if he wants his wife back he's going to have to accept whose father is basically your worst enemy so i mean if you cannot come to terms with that obviously you're not gonna get your wife back i'm gonna go ahead and move over to huey and annie or starlight now after annie's encounter with homelander she's obviously very shaken and, and stirred up and doesn't really feel safe being there so when huey actually sees and notices how shaken up um, she is he invites her to get on this journey with him and mother's milk to go and find who Liberty is, this other soup who Donna actually gave info to a butcher to go and find. They are basically on a little road trip and you can say almost like Mother's Milk is kind of like the chaperone in a way. So with that said, we're just going to go ahead and go that they're the other couple that got it on. We also find out that Mother's Milk actually has like a little OCD going on. I don't really ever remember seeing that or maybe just never really focused too much on it, but they made a point to bring it out in this episode, so I'm bringing it out to you guys as well. Now, when they do make it to the destination, they find this this lady who is, you know, obviously not wanting to talk to them. It's like, look, we got paid, we signed the paperwork, like we don't want nothing to do that, with this. Mother Shmuel was able to use a little persuasive story and was invited inside the house, and the lady was actually you know, giving a little story of what happened to her brother when she was little, and it's like, look, Who's gonna believe a little black girl when this like white lady was involved? This white super lady was involved. Like nobody's gonna believe it. Next thing you know, like Bot came around and paid us two thousand dollars. Like that's how much my brother's life was worth worth two thousand dollars. And was of course free for her life. And Huey and and Annie were like, look, you know, that was like 40 something years ago, 50 years ago, like you're safe. And she's all like, No, you you really don't know, do you? and ends up showing them a paper and was like this is liberty right here and wouldn't you know it it's stormfront let's go ahead and move over to queen mave and homelander yet again so when they're on this talk show and it gets pointed out that the majority of the superheroes are white of course pointing out do you think that bot just doesn't want diversity into the superhero community and of course at this point homelander takes it to the advantages like the the seven is kind of like a variety of people like you have a train who's black you have black noir who he doesn't really associate with a race and then he goes off to say we even have you know a gay member in the seven and it's like cool it's like queen mave totally outs her out and of course queen mave handled it very well because of course in the world that we are living in uh queen mave has that media training not to basically freak out and like just go off on him plus homelander's not really something that you should really go off on because he will again snap and he will kill everybody in that damn like studio and just make you watch before he possibly kills you or he just you know leaves you alive to kind of soak in that this what I just did was your fault. He doesn't do that here. I'm just saying, you know, it's something that he would do. Finally, we cannot forget the deep. It does make a little appearance uh, there towards the end of the episode as well. Um, throughout the episode, we do see that these women basically being interviewed, but we're like, what is they're being interviewed for? So we find out that these women are actually being interviewed to be the Deep's new wife because of this cult that he kind of got himself involved into now. Trying to, you know, get him back into the Seven for whatever reason that they want him into the Seven. Have, I'm sure, other bigger plans for him. And we also got a little bit of Black Noir in this episode. Um, he wasn't killing anybody. He was just sitting next to the tech lady trying to find butcher well she was trying to find butcher he was just kind of there for inspiration of you need to do this because otherwise i'm probably gonna kill you so yeah uh but yeah this is everything that happened in episode four of the boys did you guys get a chance to see it what did you guys think about it what are you guys thinking about the season so far uh let me know down below and of course before you guys click out of this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time i post something new and of course i'll see you guys here next week for the recap on episode five bye